Let's start with uh, a little bit of Reddit recap chat. Surprise guest on Arya Saki stream. <laughs> Mayo, what are you doing? What is this? Recently announced their father go public at the home of their IP listing, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley. No! Bro, imagine somebody at Goldman looking at these guys who fucking piss in bottles and like sleep till 6 p.m. and being like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna underwrite I sleep till guys. 5. And I love those guys, don't get me wrong. Well, I only know Mizkiff. I don't know who else is there. Um, Matthew, what? Mizkiff, <laughs> Whiteheart. Okay, all right, it's fake. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. Why? Why did I even fucking read this? <laughs> no, he meant I don't even know who else is there. Like, I don't even know who else is like waking up at 6 Why p.m. and pissing in bottles. That's what he meant. Soda loses it after watching the Destiny and Melina interview. Dude, I got. I did not watch this the first time they did this. I watched so many clips of other people watching this and I it was so funny bottles. for me, dude. I kind of want to watch this again. Or watch it this time, but I don't know. Hey, you have sex with everybody and their mama. Exactly. I only love three people, Jesse. Oh, Who I just that? saw this part. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought this was so funny. My son, Nathan, and black people. <laughs> oh, you love black people? <laughs> yeah, I do. Melina, you love black people? <laughs> oh, yes. Do you I love, love white people? Yes. You do? I love everyone. Are there black people in Sweden? Yes. A few of them. A few. Because black people don't like cold weather. Dude, they're so, they're like, okay. uh. Some of them do here, I guess. <laughs> and so, uh, and so you awkward. have. Out of my way. Soda popping. Out of my way. Come on. Out of my way, slaves. Oh, okay, that sounded... That was bad. <laughs> that timing was rough. Let's talk into the horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Movement's base take on mass. I saw a guy today with a sign as big as his body. Old white guy. Must have been in his 60s. The sign said, exercise your rights. Don't wear a mask. It was outside of a school. <laughs> and, and never, never before have I been so... Dude, I felt like I, it felt like I was possessed by a ghost. I rolled all of my windows down. I had to stop at the crosswalk. And I yelled, fuck you, pussy. <laughs> At this guy and I flipped him off. He just stared me down with his dead eyes. Hey, screw you. You don't deserve to pity yourself. Look at everything that you've got. You, you're you such a whiny little bitch. Stop doing that. <laughs> uh, no, this is gone. Saved. <laughs> Dude, this should be an alert. Typical day in India. Dude, IRL stream in India? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? see this only in India. XQCL chat. XQCL. Just a small cow. Why is there a ca It's not even like... It's, it, if it's like in, in like a, in the country... You're in the middle of the city and there's just a cow sitting in the street. And this guy's passing on the left. Why is he passing on the left? Oh, they're sacred, so nobody's allowed to move them? Let's look at my subreddit. That's been one shot's priest in two's arena. Burn. Nice, good kick. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, it's so stupid. I can't wait for this arena season, dude. It's I can't wait for this game, arena dude. season. It is just a different game playing with- Having a shaman is such a big deal, man. First thing I saw when I logged on Twitch, what kind of furniture is that? Looking at some furniture, okay. <laughs> It's a shelf, dude. Camp Canoe featuring s Would have been fun, uh, s -Fan? What? If I can control your diet plan. Online coaching just with a diet. Hmm. Give you, give you some guidelines to your training. You decide what exercises you do and all of that. I just give you some basic guidelines on how much you should train, how hard you should train. 
I kind of I, I want to I want to I want to do it just for the content alone. I think it'd be good to be yes. honest. Like obviously, like I've always done things the way I've done them from like a football perspective, but uh, I I just think it'd be good content to be like you know what I'm not gonna do anything from my my perspective, and just have I mean I'll, he said I'll still do like my own workouts, but at least like the diet stuff I think that'd be good. I just think it'd be interesting to watch. Coach Canute coaching Coach S fan. Coach coaches coach the sequel. Flexibility. It'll also help with balance, stability, endurance. <laughs> relaxation these are all fantastic wait this is a face swap for ludwig dude that is f dude but i didn't even notice oh my gosh that is funny it'll also help with balance dude stability endurance that is so funny relaxation as fan said he reacts some football highlights here's mine the only guy that beat me up for all state in my junior year now plays in the nfl nice good interception Good run. Nice. You do a good job of getting leverage. So you're doing a so one thing that happens that's really good here is you 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 do a really good job of like knowing the angles. See he looks right here. And so a lot of times what happens in film throughout the week, you go and, and you'll watch certain plays, and especially in high school, this definitely happens this way where you're like, there's not a whole lot of plays that they run off. And you might, your read literally might be as little as like, boom, boom, boom. And you're like, oh, okay, they're probably doing post right here. So if you know you're sitting in the hole, like you turn your eyes back and you look at the quarterback and you just sit and wait and you just keep going back into the, uh, back into the center, right? Nice, heads up play, good stuff. See, that's playing really, really, so here's what you did here that's legit really heads up. When Dupe sees that this guy is then pulling it up and he sees, boom, eyes right here, he sees that this guy's going down, he's got leverage on him, let him be the cap player, and then Dupe bails whenever he knows that this guy goes deep. So he goes back and he turns back and sits because he knows that there's no way that this guy should really, what, if he adds, he's going to maybe stop one more yard. But if he doesn't follow his assignment or at least make a heads up play here, then there's a chance that this guy throws for a big gain. And then that's what he does. He throws, the guy makes a bad throw, and then Dupes is sitting in the right spot and he ends up picking off that pass uh, that, that probably would have gone for about 20, 20 yards or so. Dude, Dupes, you're freaking, how many picks did you have? What the hell? Absolute beast of a kick return. I know what this is. This is my first kick return for a touchdown in Madden 22. And this year's Madden. Look what? at the beginning of this. Look, I ran back a little bit and I got a little bit of bonus acceleration. You see that? I don't think that actually does anything. <gasps> no way. No way, dude. Kick return for a touchdown. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, kick return for a touchdown is hard in Madden. S-Fan overcooks the grenade a little too much. Listen. I didn't know if, if I was literally asking the question, is this going to prime the grenade or is it just, can I just throw this whenever? Hey, this grenade. Okay. Watching SCD football, I don't know if I should laugh or cry. Last week, I got to spend a whole day with my hero, my dad a Southeastern Conference football referee. Being a college football referee is a hard job, but my dad is the best at it. Each day starts with an eye exam to make sure you're at SEC level standards. One, exclamation point, <laughs> smiley face emoji. Next, my dad taught me how important it was to call a fair and balanced game, regardless of who the teams are. Obviously, you want to try to give out as many home cooking calls to the SEC against out-of-conference opponents as you can. But when Auburn's calling fade routes on fourth and goal from the two-yard line, there's only so much you can do. My dad is so good at his job that the conference home office released a statement about his performance after the game. During the Auburn-Penn State game, there were several eg 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 egregious egregious errors made by SEC officiating crew resulting in game-altering and incorrect calls. <laughs> wow. It turns out that more people than just me know who my dad is. You suck! You are an embarrassment to the game! <laughs> wow, Dad. 
You're so popular. Everyone knows who you are. <laughs> I think my favorite part was learning the rules of the game. Oh no, I forgot what down it was. Uh, just uh, put it on fourth. That's what I always do. But what if it's not fourth down? Won't the offensive team get mad? Uh, you know, by the time they realize it, it's usually a couple series later, and we will have made so many more terrible calls by then, they won't even remember this one. I also got to practice talking to the replay booth. It was so cool. After further review, the vague and nebulous ruling of targeting on the field is confirmed. True. The is disqualified for the remainder of the contest. True. That actually happens. It's so annoying. end of the day I think I was getting the hang of it in the end I learned that being an SEC referee is hard work the worst part about targeting is that they miss the first half of the next week state of mind than a hard and fast rule that could be enforced or ignored based on how much you bet on the home team to cover thank you the truth hurts the Joe Flacco we wanted the Joe Flacco we got all right dude really guys I'm telling you Okay, Joe Flacco is going to lead the New Orleans Saints to the promised land.